Yeah. Okay. So I think we never got a chance to f answer the question though, like what do women want? Do you like if we did a survey of the women here, would you want to be in a committed relationship where you felt you could be vulnerable and taken care of and that you could fully trust the other person? I feel like you could still do that in non-monogamous relationships. I actually feel like it's a lot easier to feel fulfilled and satisfied in non-monogamous relationships because you can go to Haram. You can go to multiple people for different needs. I mean, it's kind of it's really hard when you expect like just one person to be your basically a whole entire support system. Sure. Do well, let's let's talk about that really quick. Ria, and I think in your pre-show information that you sent us, you said you wanted to talk about monogamy and cheating and that mo you said modern dating is problematic and most people, you said most people should be non-monogamous. I think people, that was a little bit extreme of me to say, but I think most people should start Own it. considering. Own it. <laughs> most people should start considering non-monogamy because- So are you, are you non-monogamous? I'm confused. I'm considering it. I'm figuring it out currently. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off there. You said people should should start considering non-monogamy because I didn't mean to cut you off there. Um, Go ahead. I feel like um, society puts pressure on you know us individuals to um, only be in monogamous relationships. Like a lot of people think monogamy is the right way to go. There's a lot of negative. Um, there's stigma around non-monogamous relationships. And I feel like if society just started being more open-minded about non-monogamy, people would be able to start exploring that option and there'd be less cheating because- Less cheating? Less cheating. Yeah, because I feel like people don't wanna be non-monogamous because they think it's wrong. Like you were t saying that, you feel like monogamy is the right way to go about relationships. But do you think that non-monogamous relationships are more successful than monogamous ones? I feel like the happiest, most successful relationships come out of monogamous relationships. That's true, you, that's proven actually. I think it depends on the person. Like if you wanna yeah. be, if you, I think the issue is people think that, a lot of people think that monogamy is <laughs> the right way to go about relationships, but if people, were to be more open-minded about non-monogamous relationships and were given like the opportunity or didn't feel bad about exploring it, then, so you know. My question would be, what do you think a relationship is and what do you want to get out of it? Because if it's just fulfilling desires, then that's, and you're saying that you'll feel more satisfied or more fulfilled. Just be single, it's not a relationship at that point. Well, I mean, I have a different opinion oh, about yeah. that too. Oh, okay, good. Um, but I will yeah. say though, I mean, it's it, we are more than our desires. We are more than like our want to explore. And I don't know about the women sitting here, but I know that when you're in a relationship with somebody that you love and that you're committed to, and you feel like you can trust them fully, you feel the happiest, you feel the most secure, and statistics have shown that. So my question is like, Why what is it not possible to do that with more than one partner though? I don't well, think she's it's, saying it's not possible. I think she's just saying like statistically it's been shown from what we know so far that that's how people react and function in monogamous relationships. And there might even be statistics opposed to like I'm like polyamorous relationships is that what you're talking about when you date like when you are like in a relationship with more than one person but it's somehow just you two or like yeah, you have so, rules within that so yeah. it goes back to my question of what do you want out of a relationship and what do you view a relationship like what do you think it should be I feel like a relationship to me um, is just two people coming together sharing happiness and enhancing each other's lives two people two or sorry. <laughs> Wait, so let's... Obviously, girl, I'm conditioned, I, as well, I'm conditioned into thinking that, you know, monogamy is the default. It's, you should be. That's I, good conditioning. I love that conditioning. I feel like I have some rewiring <laughs> of my brain that I have to do because um, I honestly haven't... I don't know too many people who are in non-monogamous relationships. Yeah. But those who I do know are very happy. I mean, this is what I'll tell you. Like every single stat suggests that monogamous relationships, man, woman. Oh here we go. Wow, they like to cut you I off cannot it. talk. One hundred dollars. Thank you, Mr. Meeple. What's the longest relationship any of y'all have in your family backgrounds? 
And how do you view those relationships? This is what every single stat shows, is that monogamous... We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that one. Monogamous relationships own. Like, kids do better in monogamous relationships. Spousal abuse is lower in monogamous relationships versus non-monogamous relationships. There's less spousal jealousy. Uh, divorce rates are lower. You can say divorce rates are crazy high. Divorce rates are lower in monogamous man-woman relationships than, than uh, the non-monogamous relationships. They're just... They just seem to work better. Also, I can look just a basic equation. Okay, 50% of my country's population is men. 50% of my country's population is women. If I'm looking for a foundation with which, with which to build my, my country, to build my society, I'm looking at one man, one woman. Because otherwise, you have an unequal balance, and maybe you've got, you've got one woman that has 10 men or one man that has 10 women, and that leads to some very curious, uh, problematic sort of socio problems, well, social exactly problems. Exactly, you said your society, but there are a lot of societies across the world that um, monogamy isn't the default, and... Like, like what? Well too. Like which one? That's actually not true. Are you talking true. like Islamic countries? I'm gonna or? have to. That's actually not true. Get back to exactly. us on that one. Randomly, I one. actually looked into the statistic the other day uh, for my work because I was um, just assessing abuse in cases of uh, polygamist relationships. A lot, obviously, um, you know. And I actually had the misunderstanding that this was very prevalent in Islamic societies. And although it's more common in those societies it's actually less than like 1% of the world is in um, polygamist marriages or relationships, polyamorous, whatever the correct term is. But anyway, so it's, a, it's like less than 1%. And actually, if you survey those women who are in those relationships, they, they don't feel happy. Wait, question for you. Was your pre uh, previous relationship, was it non-monogamous? I've only been in monogamous relationships. Oh, so then I'm just curious why the big push to... Why the big push on non-monogamy? Well, I just, you, I just feel like there's a lot of negative stigma um, about non-monogamous relationships, and I just don't really see why. I mean, personally, I've only been monogamous, but if well, someone why, wants to just, be non-monogamous, okay. yeah, yeah. like I think it should be accepted. And also, I actually Let's bring saw back shame. A no, <laughs> no, but I saw a statistic actually. You guys can look it up, Eric, but I think only 17% of societies around the world are wholly monogamous. And I don't know, you guys can fact check that, but I think that's a st statistic I saw. Isn't I th monogamy, I'm pretty sure is the norm. When you say places, monogamy, yeah. are you of talking Western about imperialism? Like, Wait, people say, that are together say that again, no nogamy? Did you say nogamy? Monogamy? Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. There's a missing syllable or some shit. Yeah, um, I have a funny way of talking it's all good. sometimes. It's all good. Can you monogamy understand me? When, like, can you understand what I'm saying, though? What? There's some moment. <laughs> I'm kidding. No relation outside <laughs> of it. Go ahead, it's go okay. ahead, go ahead. I mean, I know I mumble. It's, it's fine. Don't, it's all good. But it's when you good. say monogamy, are you talking about like people who are not cheat or presumed not cheating on each other? Like, it's or like two people two that people agree to be together, but not with they're anyone actually else. not cheating. Yeah. Wait, are yeah, they're actually not cheating. Like, yeah. it's two people who are well, very why committed why to each other that, that don't. People lie. What? Oh, well, then that's a non-monogamous <laughs> relationship. Yeah, that, so that would yeah. be non-monogamous or like cases yeah, of like, infidelity. But how do they know if they say they're monogamous and they never get caught? Okay, so you're comfortable throwing out <laughs> the entire concept of monogamy because maybe, really I don't know how many people, some people might be cheating. I'm just asking. Okay. I'm just trying to get clarification. All right. Okay. I think... Oh, oh my... Yeah. Yo, Bender, good to see you, man. Thank you. 